I want possession of you. I want you to ask for my permission before you do anything. Love. I want to own you. I want you under my command, obedient, under my jurisdiction. I want possession of you. I want to own you. But you can't. I am my own person. I have my own feelings. I can make my own choices. Own me. What would be the point? What's in it for me? Safety. I would be your Santa Claus. I would bring you gifts on Christmas. I would lubricate your life. I would make it smooth and go in and out of existence. Easy. I would vaginate you. I would womb you. I would uterus you. Vaginate me. I have a vagina. I'll never have one. No surgery can make a man a real woman. A man is a mistake. X and Y chromosomes. Look it up. Even men know they're secondary. Why do you think no football players say hi to dad during the big game? Oh, so what do you want then? Oh, the perfect, caring, new age millennium man. The sensitivity of a faggot with a cock of a horse. Or maybe you're a lip licker. Yeah, maybe you've given up on Dick and Harry. So before you voyage off into a world of armpit hair, granola bars, and Indigo Girls concerts, let me offer you a little bit of advice on the beloved pink triangle. Once you get in, you can't get out. You're lost in there like a man in a cave. Don't ever think that you could be me. I don't want to be you. You're a sad, sick little man, trying to compensate for a lack of sexual fulfillment by degrading women. Maybe if you start to believe your own lies that women are worthless and need to be diapered like children, you can hide from the feelings that you have of them. Fear, shyness, insecurity. When's the last time you even talked to a woman? I'm talking to you, aren't I? <laughs> I'm being paid to be here. I would never talk to you outside this office. I'm sorry. I, sh I shouldn't have said that. Why? Because it's true? No, it's not. If I saw you on the outside, I'd say hi. Hi, Cannon. How are you? But what if I wasn't your patient? What if I was just some guy in a bar and I tried to buy you a drink? Would you let me? Well, that depends on what you were wearing. I like men who dress nice. If you were dressed nice, I probably would. You're... No. You know what? Let's get back to our exercise. Tell me I'm a cut. You're a cunt. And you've never seen a cunt. I could be a six foot tall cunt with blood dripping down the sides. And you wouldn't know whether to fuck me or call the National Guard. I have no respect for you. You know how some people have Audi belly buttons and some people have innies? Well, I bet that you have an innie penis. You have no libido. You don't even want sex enough to connive a woman into it. You'd rather just feed yourself on a diet of misogyny and hate. I don't hate girls. I just don't understand them. <laughs> All they want is bad boys, so it seems like there's no rules. Why be a good person? Why believe in God? Hmm. <laughs>
I've heard all of this before. Why, why, why? Why not just have some faith that all the bad people are going to get what's coming to them? And we don't all get what we deserve. But we all deserve what we get. Why not just keep to your moral high ground? And that way you won't wake up in the morning and want to spin in the mirror. I never felt that way. Some days I wake up and there's some guy I just met the night before laying next to me. He may or may not be cute. And I may or may not remember the sex. Then, when I go to the bathroom, I see myself and I feel disgusted. Like I'm just giving away pieces of myself to these drags that aren't worth it. Instead of concentrating on making myself a better person, I deserve someone I can really care for. Having a one-night stand doesn't make me feel stronger. It makes me feel weaker. Like I'm taking bricks out of a house and every winter it's getting colder and colder. And you should be with a man like me. A man like you? Yeah. A good stay-at-home kind of man. A man who enjoys watching videos. Or eating at crab and lobster buffets. Honest. Earnest. Trustworthy. Loyal. Obedient. Courageous. Kind. What are you, a man or a boy scout? <laughs> Your scout's honor, I'm a man. And someday I'll show you just how great a man I am. How? The world inspires me. I feel like it's my destiny to inspire others. My mind just gets so focused, like after watching a great movie, all the great autobiographies that I've read, and now I'm ready to go out into the world and show it my insight. Hmm. Well, um, it sounds to me like you're just going to condense other people's thoughts into your own opinion. I expect a sloppy, derivative, jargon-based misfire. Oh, thank you. Except about the sloppiness. This work will be clean. Every thought will be on a new page. Well, sounds like a great toilet read. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a good idea. Can I use it? No. Oh your own ideas. You know, Frost once said there was a fork in the road, and I took the road less traveled, and that has made all the difference. In other words, you'll never be insightful by quoting from famous people. Now go out, get some life experience. That's what makes an interesting writer. I don't want to be an interesting writer. I want to be rich and famous. Why? So I'll never have to start a conversation.